Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray and I teach watercolor and today I'm showing you how to paint on the bonus item that's in our Merry and Bright box. We have Keegan here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off on your whoops. That's okay. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, and for those who buy the Merry and Bright box, you're going to receive a cellophane sleeve with something that looks kind of like this. And oh, you're wow. probably going to be like, I'm sorry, <laughs> what is this? This paper's broken. <laughs> Something's wrong with my paper. Is it a train? Doesn't it kind of look like a train? It does look like a train. It is actually a box. So oh. I'm going to show you how to paint it and then how to fold it so you can make your own little trinket box. Now this is made on our watercolor paper. So you guys can paint literally anything on this, which oh, is sweet. awesome. Yeah. So um, we just thought it'd be such a cute little bonus item, especially around the holiday known for gift giving. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we're gonna do today. Cool. Cool? Cool, cool. All right. So I have my paper out. It's much easier to paint on the paper while it's still attached to the paper. So don't remove it. Unless oh. you're like trying to be very like, this square is this and this square is it. You know what I mean? Oh yes, I see. But I'm just gonna keep it right on this paper to make it easier. And because I'm doing little illustrations across the whole thing, I don't need to tape this down. But if you were to do like a full painting on this, then I would tape it down so it wouldn't move. Okay? Got it. Now I am using the colors from the Merry and Bright box, um, but you can use whatever you want. This is your little gift box that you're making, you yeah. know? Yeah, live your life. Live your life. Paint your box. Stop trying to copy me. Oh, that's not the direction <laughs> I thought you were going. Could you imagine if that was my attitude? Yes. Like, I'm going to teach you how yeah. to do this, but don't you dare do it. Uh, anytime we're off camera. <laughs> really easy for me to figure out. Somebody painted pine cones like I did. Can you even believe it? <laughs> Thousands. Can you tell we're tired? Oh, no, uh, yes. Okay. Daylight savings. That's right. It's real. Okay. Well, we should have gotten more sleep, but we didn't. Yeah. Children. Ch um. Focus. Should we start over? That was a lot. No, that was great. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to do little trees as my illustration in different ways and um, just kind of like a fun little thing. Um, but one thing that you do want to keep in mind is scale. So this is going to fold up to something about this size. So I wanted to make sure I painted something that you can still see what it was while it was folded up. So I decided to paint smaller. Um, just an acknowledgement, just me calling that out. So I'm doing a few different trees here and they're all just like really basic shapes. I'm going to mix like a really pretty desaturated blue. So I'm going to have my sea blue with a little bit of green and then let's add a little bit of red in there. A little bit more blue. More blue. More red. More green. There we go. That's starting to be a little bit. It's a nice green. Better. I want it to be like a desaturated turquoisey green color, but do I like this? Let's get a scratch paper. Mm, let's do more green. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I have that and I have my red, I have green, and then I have like a light green. So I think we're good. Sweet. So um, when you do little patterns, you just want to make sure that you are... Um, Touching the paper. I always forget this word. Oh, uh, stagger. Stagger. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. You Stagosaurus. Want... Stagosaurus. We're going to stagger our trees. So I'm going to start, and you can start anywhere. Here. And I'm just going to paint a triangle with my six and fill it in. And you want to make sure that you're painting on the more textured side of your watercolor paper. Okay. And then, so for your next tree you would want to either go well we're going to do both because we need to fill this whole thing 
up angled or down angled. So you're basically painting in a triangle always, mm. okay? So, um, and then let's just do like a dark green here. It would be really cool to paint this, but then on the inside of the lid, write something. Yeah. It could be a great little prank box too. It could be like, Merry Christmas, and then you open it up and it's like a thousand dollars cash. Oh, that's, I was gonna say a block of coal. <laughs> Well, now we have gift expectations this yes, year, do. so I, I know what Cole I'm getting you, Sarah. and I know what you're getting me. <laughs> Make the check out to Sarah Cray. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my <laughs> green. I don't have any checks. <laughs> <laughs> Who uses checks? I don't know. Venmo. I'll take Venmo. Okay. <laughs> I should just put my Venmo like QR code right here and be like, if y'all want to tip me this holiday <laughs> season. <laughs> to paint you guys yeah. we're here to paint sorry I'm gonna use my two and I'm gonna basically do a squiggle that's in the shape of a triangle and that goes like this you start at a squiggle and then as you go down it just gets wider oh I like that yeah it's just a cute little tree illustration it's springy yes not like the time of year but the bounce like Tigger that's, I got it. I, okay, good. I, yeah. Great. I didn't acknowledge that I understood, but I understood. Yeah, I just heard a, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, great, Keenan. Yeah, great, You made cool. an observation today. Good, <laughs> good job. <laughs> you get a gold star. A and green then, tree. And then the next tree that I'm going to do is like, um, swish, 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 swish. So I start off with small and then medium and then it gets larger and I do it in a triangle shape so it looks like a tree. Candy cane tree. Wow. The whole tree is a candy cane. The whole tree. Candy tree actually. And then now I'm gonna be working up here in my like triangle. And the nice thing about doing like little patterns like this is that if one turns out wonky, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. All. Built in safeguard. That's right, because there's going to be so many of them, and this is a folded up box, mm -hmm. so it's going to be like, it's trees. It doesn't matter if one's. Some of them probably folded in half. Yeah. And then I did a basic just triangle, thin line, like that. Oh, nice. So this is like our repeating pattern, kind of, okay? So then, um, when you add, like when you go from here, you wanna try not to have the same ones touching. So if I go here, then maybe my next one will be this one here. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I just wouldn't wanna do this green one like here or yeah. here or here, right? I don't know, let's just go for it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I'm gonna do this red one up here. And it's much easier to make sure that you cover the entire box if you let yourself kind of go off the edge. Okay. And we're just gonna be doing this cute little pattern across the whole thing. Just keep going. And you can make them like as close together as you want. Ooh, that red, too green. There we go. And this is what I love about illustrations is like you can have some of your trees be like long and skinny. You know what I mean? They can oh, be yeah. like short and stubby, like Play with it. Play with these different shapes. Do you have more patterns for us? Do I have more patterns for you? Yeah. What do you mean? You got the stripey stripey, the swiggly, the solid. Do you have any weird ones? Any, any other weird ones? No, I think it's just those four. Oh, nice. Yeah. But you guys, if you're just like, I want to do this one, do that one. And this is just what we're gonna do on repeat.
Okay, we're nearing the end of the painting the trees, but you want to look at the edges and just be like, if this, if I weren't paying attention to this border, would there be a hint of another tree somewhere? And so for me, I'm just like, I feel like there'd be a little tip red. So I, what I'm saying is don't forget the little edges that come over here like this. I feel like I would see a little bit of a tree here. Maybe this would be a little hint of red again. And you want to do that across the whole thing to make sure you're getting all the spaces activated. Does that make sense? Yep. You don't want like a big chunk missing, even over here. So just kind of do that. Okay, that feels pretty good. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it brown because I'm gonna add little tree trunks to all of my trees. So I'm gonna take red, yellow ochre, and you can do either green or some of that blue. Just mix all the colors together till you get it brown, pretty much. And then once you're good with your brown, you can just take your two and just do little trunks. And again, because this is just a cute little illustration, we're not going for perfection here. You can do some that are thicker. You can do some that are long and skinny. I was thinking it would be so pretty to do like a floral painting on this. Oh yeah. That was like, I wanted to try this one and then if I didn't love how it turned out, I was gonna try like a winter floral across the whole thing. That would be pretty. But after I finished this and I folded it all up, I'm like, this is actually super cute. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay with this one. And I just love illustration in general. I just have um, a soft spot in my heart for it. Yeah, this one's very cute. Am I missing any trunks? No. I think I'm good. Bottom left. Bottom left? This one? Those will be off, but still. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. And then now I'm going to do just using straight yellow ochre, but if you have like gold paint or something like that, like this Ooh. is a great way to add fun little embellishments. And you can do it with a pen, paint. Stickles. Stickles. And on some of the trees, I'm going to do it on the blue. I'm going to just do a red, I mean, I'm sorry, a yellow little ball at the top. I'm not going to do a star. I just want to do a little, I'm going to do it on the red ones too. But you guys can decide, like you can look at yours and be like, I want to do it. You can do it on all of them, <laughs> whatever you want. Why are you laughing at me, Kim? Well, I was waiting for you to say, I'm gonna do them on all of them. <laughs> cause cause like, I'm just gonna do them on the blue one. Ah, I'm gonna do the red ones too. There's only one other tree <laughs> that you could do. <laughs> so cute. And then like um, along with that, if you want to, depending on how spaced your trees are because you don't want your trees too far away to where when you fold this up you have all of this white space but if there's some areas where you just have space that you don't want like my go-to to fill in space on things like this are just little dots but this is where you need to look at your painting and you can say actually i feel pretty good about my spacing or not I just felt like it could have used a little zhuzhing. Zhuzhing. That's a term, right? It is. I do not know what it means. I know, I just thought like, gosh, I really hope that it's not anything offensive that I just said. Because... I don't think it's, it doesn't sound like it. I don't, no. No, can't be. Can't be. <laughs> okay. 
And then what you want to do is you want to let that dry. And actually, now that I'm here, I see a little space that I ignored. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to fold it on this guy. This one I already... Oh, sweet. But you want to wait till it's totally dry before you... So this one I didn't paint on, just to show you how to fold it. So you want to go ahead and wherever there's a crease, you want to just pre-bend those because it will make it so much easier to fold up. So right now I'm just going through and folding everything. That's why I wanted to do it on a new one to show them to, that they need to fold yeah, it. Yeah, smart. So not only this way, but then also this way. Mm. Okay, so after you folded it and unfolded it, we're gonna flip it onto its bottom. And then the part that looks like a square cutout, I'm gonna have in front of me, and the rest is gonna wrap around like so. And this guy with kind of like the tail is gonna stay out. And these two are gonna feed into this one. So it looks like that, okay? Okay. Can you see that? Yep. And then this is guy comes in and tucks in. So then it's connected like that, okay? Okay. So there's our bottom. And then flip it over and here's our top. Very nice. And if you want it to stay stable, you can take a little bit of glue right here and glue that together. But when it's all hooked up. There's a box. There's a cute little box. Nice. Okay. Okay. Should we try it to see if this one's dry? Oh yeah. Okay. So I think this is dry. It, this should just pull apart pretty easy, but of course, be careful, it's paper. Okay, and then we're gonna fold all the little pieces. That was still wet. <laughs> okay, so now that all the pieces are fold, put it upside down and put the, the square cut out in front of me, wrap this all the way around. The part that has a little tail sticking out is gonna stay out. And the parts that have these little sharp edges are gonna tuck in. And then this guy is gonna come back and tuck in. There we go. Now we have our cute little watercolor box. Nice. Custom painted, yeah, Custom that's so cute. <laughs> Um, I know that I, this is kind of a, we've never had a bonus item like this before. So it's definitely a unique new item that, um, we were excited to share with you because we just think it's kind of fun. And we love this because it's just a really easy way for you to share what you're doing with your friends and family. And it doesn't have to be as awkward as like, I painted you this painting. I hope that you love it and frame it. Cause that's always a little bit scary. But it's, it's kind of fun just to make something for, for them without any like stress that it has to be something big. You know what I mean? So paint whatever your heart desires on this. I hope I did an okay job showing you how to fold it. And shout out to Ruthie who showed me how to fold it because I could not figure it out. Ruthie's so, the truth. Thank you, Ruthie. And um, I, that, that's it. That's oh. our bonus item. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Happy holidays, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye.